Notebook LM is one of the best AI tools for productivity and learning. Why? Because it can help you understand any topic in just a few minutes instead of spending hours scrolling through articles and videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Notebook LM, including things like how to combine multiple sources to generate executive reports and study guides, and how to generate a personalized podcast that you can interact with so you can learn on the go. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Jorge, I'm a Microsoft MVP, and I share simple ways that you can do to free up your time and be more productive by using AI. So before we get started, if you're still not subscribed to my channel, promise me that if you learn something new today, you're going to hit that subscribe button. Okay, are you ready? Let's crack on. Let's start with the basics. What is Notebook LM for? As you can see from their website, it is built to help people understand anything. Just think about it. With all of the information we have in our hands right now, it is easy to get lost. You always have 10 windows open, you can read for an hour, and you still don't understand the topic. That's where Notebook LM comes in. It understands the content of your sources and then generates a clear explanation, cutting all the fluff that you don't need. The most valuable part is in the different outputs you can get from it. This can be text documents, mind maps, videos, and audio outputs in a podcast format. So let's go to Notebook LM. So when you go to Notebook LM, you can create a new notebook and it will ask you to upload your sources. You can upload any sources from your desktop. It can be a PDF, TXT file, or an audio. You can also link it to your Google Drive and bring any document from there. You can add links to a specific website or a YouTube video, and you can also paste plain text. So let's say that I want to learn about the Agile methodology, which is used in project management. I have a PDF with all of the information related to Agile methodology. This is Agile project management, a mandate for the 21st century. And as you can see, this is a document with 120 pages. I also have this other PDF with a beginner's guide for non-project managers with all of this information. I'm gonna upload those into Notebook LM. It will take me to this screen. On the left-hand side, you will see the list of all of the sources. Here are my two PDFs and you will see that in just a few seconds, Notebook LM will understand all of the content in my PDFs and will give me a summary of what they are about. So we can see here, this is the Agile Project Management 101 for non-project managers, and it gives me a brief description of my sources. From here, we can ask some questions about any information included in my sources. This is similar to ChatGPT, but the difference is that we're going to get answers specifically from our sources. It doesn't get any information from sources that we're not specifying. So for example, I can ask a simple question. What is the main difference of Agile from other methodologies? And it will give me the detailed explanation of what are the main differences from other methodologies. We can see here the approach to planning and structure, response to change and uncertainty, and it gives me the comparison from Agile and the traditional project management. This can be very similar to ChatGPT, but notice here that everything is referenced to the sources that we provided. So all of this will give us a view of where this answer is coming from. And these are from these PDFs. Now, look what happens if we want to include another source. Let's go to YouTube and search for some videos about Agile methodologies. Copy the link to add it as a source. I'm going to pick this one. And this one to add them to my notebook. And I also have some websites that I want to include as reference. So now we have all of our sources and we can do something a bit more interesting. If we go to the right side of the screen, we can see the different output formats that we can generate from our sources. We have audio overview, video, we can generate a mind map, different reports, flashcards, or quizzes. So let's go for the basic one. If we click on reports, the standard reports are the ones that we have at the top, which are briefing documents, study guides, and blog posts. And at the bottom, we can see the different formats that are suggested based on our sources. We can see here that we have a concept overview of what is Agile and an explanatory guide of the tools and techniques for Agile projects. So let's generate a study guide. It will take a few seconds to generate. It will show us a list of short answer quiz, essay type of questions, and a glossary of key terms. 
This is perfect to summarize the most important part of all of our sources and will help people study more effectively. You can also generate a mind map and it will break down all of the information that it combined from the sources into these different topics. You can click on each one and drill down into the most important definitions. For example, this one, the Agile Manifesto with the four core pillars and the 12 principles. And all of this is just generated in a few seconds. Another two super useful outputs are the flashcards and quizzes. You can use these to prep for an exam or just study faster in general. They basically generate questions and flashcards tailored to your learning style. So let me show you the quiz notebook LM created. Based on the sources I uploaded, it gave me this question. In Agile, which musical analogy describes the flexible, collaborative process where the team builds on each other's work? It gives you multiple choice answers, just like an exam. I already know this one, it's A, a jazz band improvising together. And it also explains why that answer is correct. Let's check the next one. What is the primary responsibility of the product owner in a scrum team? I actually don't know this one, so I'll pick B. Turns out the correct answer is C, having a vision for the product and prioritizing the backlog. And again, it breaks down why the other options are wrong. Now. Let's look at the flashcards. Same idea. It creates flashcards from your sources, and you just flip to reveal the answer. And you can customize them. Choose the exact source, pick a specific topic, set the number of cards, and even adjust the difficulty. Before moving on to the next feature, I just want to remind you to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of these AI tools. Next is the audio overview, which is honestly my favorite feature. This generates a podcast style audio explaining any topic you choose. You can pick the format, a deep dive, a quick overview, a critique, or even a debate. You can choose the language and the length. I'm going to type my topic, the Agile Manifesto, and hit generate. It usually takes a few minutes. But here's the mind-blowing part. This podcast is interactive. You can interrupt at any point, ask a follow-up question, and it will regenerate itself on the fly to focus on whatever you want next. It's literally like talking to the host while the episode is being created. It'll take a few minutes, but in the meantime, the same way it generates audio, Notebook LM can also create an explanatory video. So I'll hit generate on that too and fast forward so you can see the result. The audio overview is ready now. Let's check it out. You know that feeling. You're deep into a project, following the plan perfectly, and then boom, everything changes. Requirements shift, maybe some new information pops up, and suddenly that beautiful plan feels, well, totally useless. It happens all the time, right? Especially now it feels like uncertainty is the only thing we can actually count on. Oh, absolutely. It's a really common frustration. You know, the traditional ways of managing projects, they give you that nice feeling of control at the start. Mm -hmm but they often uh, fall apart when reality hits, when things inevitably get dynamic. Right, and that tension, that pull between wanting control but needing flexibility, that's exactly what we want to unpack today here on The Deep Dive. We're gonna slice through all the buzzwords and really get under the hood of agile methodology. This is impressive, isn't it? Just think about it. You would be able to create a podcast on demand to learn anything. You can listen to it on your phone while you're at the gym, for example. And what happens if you want to go deeper into one specific topic? Check these out. Today, we're trying to cut through that noise because Agile, it isn't just another project management tool. It's actually, well, more like a philosophy. And that's really our mission for this deep dive, isn't it? To get past that surface level stuff and really understand. Oh, hey, our listener wants to join in. What's up? Hey, I'm starting a new project next week. What are the first things that I need to do for this project to be Agile? Oh, that's exciting. Starting a project next week. We love that energy. That's a great question. And it actually brings us right to the practical side of things. You're asking display, which is a perfect entry point. When people think of displaying Agile, they're often thinking of a visual tool. Right. And one of the simplest ways applying Agile principles immediately is to use a pen bed board. This is mind blowing, isn't it? So if you found this impressive so far, wait until you see the result of the video overview. What if I told you the best way to handle a really complex project is to basically rip up the super detailed long-term plan? It sounds kind of crazy, right? 
But that's the core idea behind Agile, a philosophy that's totally changed how teams build, adapt, and, well, win in a world that's moving at lightning speed. So let's break it all down. Next up, focus on what actually matters, which is a product that works. Instead of spending months and months on super detailed documentation that, let's be honest, nobody's going to read, the goal is to get a functional product into the customer's hands as fast as possible. So as you can see, Notebook LM is such an incredible tool that will save you hours. Whether you're trying to learn a complex topic or just want to work more productively, Notebook LM will be a great option. I'm leaving the link to Notebook LM down in the description of this video. Go and check it out and let me know in the comments what you think. And if you're already using it, I'd love to hear how it's helping you out. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this useful, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you want to be up to date with all of these AI tools for productivity, just hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.